Hey guys, Warchild V1 here, back with some more Unturned. I've decided I'm going to start a brand new series on this game, and um, I'm going to start from scratch and see, you know, where it goes. Uh, so we're going to start with nothing and see if we can get us a base going and all that fun stuff. I, I think it'll be nice and fun. I'm sure we could handle this. Let me go ahead and pick that face because I love it. <laughs> I'm not going to go with green skin. I'm going to be a white boy. That's more like it. Okay. Hair. Uh, not too crazy. Even though I never see myself, uh, I do like to host my maps online. <laughs> That's like me in high school. Except for my hair was slightly longer. Ew, ew. Never mind. That looks like a cancer patient with uh, long hair. All right. Uh. No offense to any cancer patients, uh, you know. Mustache, I don't think so. I think I should just go with a baldy. I mean, I like to shave my head every other week, so I'm going to be a naked bald man. How much sexier can I get, you know? All right, uh, play. I'm going to start this off on single player. I, I can always host this anytime. I have it set to where I can uh, give out my IP address and people can join my map. So, I'm going to start off on single player, and God, it's nighttime. <clears throat> yeah, it's nighttime, so this is going to be kind of a rough start. Um, just so you know, where is it? Uh, back, back. Up here in the top, it's 3.45 a.m. You can always check this before you jump in, so morning should be right around the corner. Uh, the main menu is in live time of the game. And I think it's the same time on any one server at all, period. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So let's kick it off. And I can actually see better than I thought I would be able to. I'm either by the airport or a military base. I really think it's the airport. Oh, I don't feel too safe here. I've adjusted settings on my, uh, on my screen to where stuff is not just pitch black all the time. You know, I've always talked about how it's darker on my screen than you guys see it. Now, I think I've adjusted it to where it's the same for both of us, which makes a lot more sense. I won't look so stupid in dark areas. Pink berries, I believe, are safe. Ah, oh, shit. We already got a Zom Zom. All right, so here's the game plan. I'm going to let him trail me while I run through this airport. We're at the airport, which is in the top left of the U on the map. The map is shaped like a giant U. Shit, oh my god. I almost didn't jump there. Uh, another Zom Zom. There's a car jack, but I'm not too worried about a car jack yet. I don't even have a backpack. There's a saw, holy shit. Okay, um. Damn, there's a backpack. All right, so we got a backpack. I want that saw really bad. I'm out of uh, stamina completely here. <gasps> Shit. It's not even worth it. I don't think I got it either. It can't be used as a weapon or anything, but my god, that should help out a lot whenever it comes to uh, survival in the long run. You do eventually need a saw. Here, let's put the backpack on. I only have three shots with this gun, so no point in using it right now. Got a can of gas. All you do pretty much is just run in circles. Keep them at a little distance from you and you will be A-OK. -okay. Here, in fact, let's trail them out this way. Just don't stop moving and you will be alright. It's not that bad. Yeah, they're pretty quick. They're actually just as fast as you are. <clears throat> but you can keep them at a safe distance by just running every once in a while. A light. I don't have any generators or anything, but I have a light. Sun should be up any time now, too. Alright, what did I come in here for? Oh, the saw. Got it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a car jack. Alright. The backpack I have isn't a bad backpack at all. It's a travel pack. Um, 
I would show you my amount of slots and all that, but I'm not sure how many slots you get exactly. I think five slots is what it's looking like. Oh, it's already full. All right. Uh, I don't think these berries make me trip or anything. No, I'm good. I want a melee weapon really bad. The amount of zombies I have on me is kind of crazy at the moment. Alright, I didn't get that. I really wanted to, though. Alright, I have so many zombies that I just need to get out of here. This is not safe. At least the sun's coming up. Oh my god. Yeah, this gun with three bullets is not going to help too much. Come on. Oh, it has gas! And if it didn't, I could put some gas in it. I can't repair a vehicle yet. Alright, well that's one way to get away from somewhere. You can look back behind you. Alright, I'm going to get up here. I'm going to pull over and actually fill up my tank. Alright, we're probably at a safe distance now. So I can assess my situation. Alright, this only has four slots across. Some backpacks only give you four, some give you five. Um, this is one of the weaker of the bags. Alright, well I have over a quarter tank of gas. But at least I have a bag, period, you know? Without a bag, you can't carry more than four items. I probably shouldn't sit here slamming into zombies. I'm gonna end up breaking the car. A piggy. Here's the way out of town towards where I want. Oh shit, I did not mean to run into the Humvee. This is where I eventually want to go, is this way, but I want to go into that town real quick and see if I can find a melee weapon of sorts. I think it's a bad idea to use a gun right now, but I'm doing it. That'll probably get the attention of any zombie in the area. Alright, I got two coming. No gas. I only have one bullet left. Those are cool traps. There's a map right there. Oh my god. I'm going to get that. Um, here, I think I'll just run over the zombies. There are cow traps, which... I'm not sure if they work for vehicles or not, for sure. Um, that's what I think they should be meant for. But I believe they work kind of like barbed wire. If a zombie runs into them, it highly damages them. Most likely kills them. I think. Alright, here we go. I kind of know my way around this map already. Alright, I'm in high hopes that this is the only zombie left. Alright, I'm out of ammo. Uh, so what I'm going to do is hold T, and I'm going to drop this clip. And then I'm going to pick the clip back up. Anytime there's an empty clip, you drop it on the ground. <clears throat> So currently this gun has zero ammo without a clip also. The clip is empty. If I find any civilian bullets, I can go use crafting and craft the bullets together. Uh, and Or craft the bullets with the... Uh, I don't know where I'm getting with this. <laughs> craft the bullets with the clip and I'll be good. Sorry. I don't even know what I'm in, what I would do with purification tablets, really. All right, so there's a map. We are where the oh, all right. I thought I was in the top left corner. I was in the top right corner of the big U. 
Um, I'm right where the X is on the map, just so you know. And hopefully any zombie within range of, you know, where I need to go has already been taken down. Due to me firing guns and them hearing it. Uh, such a hard to, you know, decision. Do I want to bring that flashlight or not? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, baseball bat. I've actually never used a baseball bat on this game. All right, there was a right click and left click in that order. This place, the only way in is through the top window, so if you come here with a uh, ladder or if you wreck a car into a car and one's kind of on top of the other, you might be able to get in there. Um, it's not like some big special place, but there are items in there just like everywhere else. You know, I would much rather a machete or a katana or something. I'm going to go ahead and put on the poncho just to not be completely, completely naked. See, now I have a poncho. Now if it rains, yeah, I don't think that'll be very useful. All right, civilian ammo would be highly, highly useful. A can is really useful, actually. That's the same kind of gun. I bet you I can get this and this one I'm going to drop. That's my old one. Now let's see how much ammo. The new one has five shots in it already, <clears throat> so that's good, and I have an empty mag also. So I'm doing good here. I'll go ahead and drink some apple juice. See, there's another one. All right, let's uh, let's take this other one. Click it. Click equip. Hold T and drop the clip out. Alright, so now I have a, a clip with two shots in it, as well as an empty clip. Canned cola. With two canned colas, as well as two, um... Hold on, let me rearrange these. Two canned colas and two empty cans you can craft if you have a campfire around into a silencer. So that's kind of why I'm carrying those. Let's see how good a baseball bat is. One right click took him down. Took a lot of stamina, but it took him down. Duct tape. I actually have no use for it right now. Let's go ahead and grab the clothes. Um, the other way to equip, equip clothes, instead of clicking it once, clicking equip, and then clicking, you can right click it and click where it goes, and it actually puts it on. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take off my poncho. Go with my overalls. Alright, so we got a decent start already. I mean, I have a gun with a few shots, as well as uh, clothes and a baseball bat. And a backpack. That's empty shells. Anytime you see something that just says shells, they're empty. They don't have gunpowder or bullets on them. I always pick up cloth, at least at the beginning. You can craft your own rags that way. Kind of like Daisy tearing your clothes apart. Hey, buddy. Alright, it takes two left clicks or one right click. Right click uses up stamina, left click does not. And if you didn't know, now you know. Knowing is half the battle, okay? G.I. Joe. The American Gringo. Arrows, no. I don't believe I can take ammo out of the swift mag or I would pick it up and take the ammo. <clears throat> I don't think it quite works that way. Hey construction worker, how are you? Alright, um... Damn it, why has everything got to be moldy? I could actually use some, uh... Clothes at the moment, or er, clothes, some food. I don't remember that room with a bunch of beds. Alright, um. 
Down that way is a beach. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to try not to run. As much as I can, I'm going to try not to run. When you run, you use up stamina as well as you get hungry and thirsty faster. Um, so I'm really going to attempt to not run. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything down that way. No. This neighborhood is about that big. Uh, just because I... Well, no. I was going to say just because I have the space, I'm going to pick up the cow traps. No, I'm not. I wish I could siphon the gas from there to the Humvee. Alright. Uh, just a sec. Let's get out. Pull up that map again. Equip. Alright, I want to go straight. Straight is for sure. That's where I came from. So, I'm gonna bunker down at the farm. That is my favorite place to survive in this game. Because you have gasoline and a water well. Which are both life-saving items. And I've learned, I think pink berries and red berries are both okay. Um, we'll come back to this neighborhood here shortly. After I go drop all my stuff off at the farm. Um, as long as you don't quit game... You don't have to put your stuff in a chest. You can literally drop it on the ground. It is not going to disappear unless you quit game, which I think is a pretty amazing feature. So you can go and ditch all of your stuff and then go back out and go scavenging and then uh, eventually, you know, build a chest and put it all in there just before you quit the game. If you quit and come back, it's all going to be gone. So that's how that works. There's my home sweet home. I love life at the farm. It looks so different without my base. Oh, shit. The fact that I can't uh, repair a vehicle is pretty bad, too. These are all right clicks. That's why they're going down so easy. You right click, that's a strong attack. I know I've said that a bunch of times, but I just want you to understand why it's not just one hit. This is not, like, on easy or anything. Nice, a longbow and arrows. Holy crap! I got a chainsaw. Bow and arrow are actually very nice. And to make arrows, all you really need are nails and sticks. Uh, I'm going to take these items. Uh, I'm getting quite thirsty here. Alright, I have no space. But there are seeds and stuff here. So what I'm going to do is go upstairs and ditch all my stuff. Then we're going to take all these seeds. Drop. 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 I don't have to say it every time, do I? I love that we got a chainsaw. That alone is awesome. Let's go ahead and craft these two cloths into a bandage. And I guess I should probably go ahead and use the bandage. Uh, I'm quite thirsty. I'm going to go ahead and drink this Coke. I am going to hold on to these clips though. I don't really need a map. I know my way around. Alright, it would be nice to find a better backpack right away. Alright, I'm bandaged up. Uh, bandages are highly, highly weak. Or they were probably just rags, actually. You craft cloth into rags, rags into bandages, bandages into field dressings, field dressings into... I don't know. It just it slowly gets better and better, so that's all I know. Takes two and two and two and two. I'm going to go ahead and plant these. That way, when I come back to the farm, I can uh, have some food 
here. And one cool thing is, if you don't eat your crops, if you just pluck them, you can craft them into twice as many seeds and then replant. So you can sit here and grow your farm bigger and bigger. Uh, it's really cool how that works. All right, let's go ahead and fill up with gas. Uh, you just put this in your hand and click. It always puts it away. You have to pull it back out. So I recommend hotkey in it if you're doing this. Right now it's hotkeyed to number four. Probably full. I bet you it's full now. I'm just gonna fill this up and then we're gonna head out. All right, yeah, because I, I really need to go get some food. All right, just checking. The the longbow is quite good. It's actually pretty damn powerful. The compound bow is really powerful, and uh, the crossbow is really powerful. So that's a good silent kill right off the bat if you just have some zombies that you want to take care of in the distance without alerting all the others. Wow, this thing only has 60% gas. I'm surprised. Actually, you know what? I'm heading towards the wrong town. I want to go to the other town because there's actually a mechanic shop. There's a, a car shop there, and there's a possibility of finding a blowtorch which would repair my... Uh, my vehicle if it gets to smoking. So we're gonna go up this road. The town's like right over that way. It's the one that we passed by on the way here. Yeah, I hope these videos become useful for someone. I'm doing it because it's a lot of fun. I just, I love survival games and this is one of the coolest. It reminds me of like Daisy Epoch. Uh, but the fact that you can play it single player and not always have to worry about some random killing you. The map's fairly big, but it's not big enough that I feel like I could go off the grid and hide from people and stuff. Um, you can drive from one side of the map to the other in just a few minutes, so... I don't know. I haven't played it online yet. I will for sure one day. Don't, don't get me wrong. I will. That's going to be amazing. I want to make sure I know the game front and back and I'm all geared up. And then I can always switch servers. You can actually get geared up on one server, then go to another server and uh, and use all your stuff. Alright. I need to upgrade my stamina, so let's go ahead and go to skills. And survival. Survival makes it to where you don't need food and water as often. The stamina, I can run a lot further. I can swing a lot more. Wooden shutter, very nice. Scrap metal is always a necessity. All right, let's go ahead and make some uh, arrows real quick, just because I can. One stick and one set of nails creates... Uh, three arrows as you just saw if you noticed if you didn't I told you what up fireman Joe let's say I hear another one there he is kitchen knife moldy water I did ditch those purification tabs Um, the other town is really the best town to go to. How do I stand up? There we go. If you're looking for food. This town may have food, but the other one, the way I was going at first, is way more guaranteed to have food for you. But we're doing A-OK -okay right now. Apple juice. I think we're safe. Cloth and arrows. Here, yeah, we'll go ahead and start using some of these arrows. That's not arrows. That's arrows. Or bow, whatever. All 
Oh wow, you have to hit R. See, I didn't know that. There we go. It's actually my first time to use one. My daughter uses it a lot. Did you see that? Well, uh, I'm set for good. I got a katana. Knapsack, that's actually a smaller bag than what I have, so I don't want it. I'm gonna grab the moldy cabbage just to craft it into seeds. All right, off to the fire station. You can mount a sight on the bow, which would probably help a lot. This is actually quite pointless to me. Let's, uh... The katana has damage as well as distance. When you right click it does a, a thrusting attack which uh, has damn good distance. You know what? Screw the bow. Screw the arrows. They're just taking up space. Oh hell yeah! Fire axe! As much as I don't really need one at the moment because I already found a uh, saw. It would be nice to have. Or a chainsaw, you know. It's like a Canadian cop or something. Uh, F, crouch, band. Morphine, bandage. Alright, I have two bandages. Let's go to crafting and craft them into field dressing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and oh, those are antibiotics. I thought it was pain. Let's uh, use the morphine. My 85% is gonna go up now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab food and stuff that I can use currently. Hand pasta equip use. I'm gonna grab this water, mix it with the purification tablets that I found. So there's the moldy water. Here's the purification tablets and crap. That gives me clean bottled water. Uh, crafting. You can craft moldy stuff into good stuff. That's how that works. So, I would imagine you're getting the hang of it, if you don't already know. Same kind of backpack that I already have, a travel pack. I bet you that's a stray arrow that I shot earlier. Uh, I could really care less about picking up duct tape at the moment. Unless I can, like, mix du duct tape with the, uh, with the torch that I have. I'll have to check that out. Um, I know if you mix duct tape, two duct tapes and the binoculars, it makes a sight for your gun. So let's see if it is the same. Uh, yeah. I doubt it. But it would, it would kind of make sense. Two duct tapes. Oh, I'm not even, I don't even have it with me. I'm actually good on food and water right now. 
I'm gonna check out the store just for the hell of it. I may want to swap out this item for that item or something. Might find something highly useful, I don't know. Like a pickaxe! And rope. And work jeans. Okay, um... Let's see, what do I do? I... Drink this. Pickaxe is highly important. We can break down rocks with that. Rag is the weakest. I'm going to go ahead and use it just to get it out of my inventory. Alright, we're good. Um, my inventory is packed full again. There's a knapsack. Ammo for a revolver. Ammo for a pistol. By the way, most pistols suck, if you didn't know that. Most of them actually really, really suck. The revolver's pretty good. So is, uh... So is the Desert Falcon, as they call it, which is basically a Desert Eagle. Oh, shit. Last place I need to go is in here. Well, hell, look at this. That is an assault rifle that uh, uses military-grade ammo, but it is very, very, very nice. Alright, shit. Uh, screw seeds. I'm going to go ahead and start filling up some of these clips that I have. Crafting. Mix that. Put that. Mix that. With that. Alright, now I have three full clips. And a nice ass assault rifle. Alright, screw the seeds. It's starting to get dark. It's almost time to head home. I just want to check out the dock just in case there's a, a generator out here. Because we sure could use one. I'm wondering if one day the generators are going to be updated to where you have to... Uh, to where you have to put gas in them, because currently you don't have to. They just work when you turn them on. Sounds like the sound just reset. That was weird. Oh, it's because the sun's going down. When the sun's going down, you get more bug sounds and less uh, bird sounds. Ooh, God. I like that more than rope, actually. That's wire. Two wires equal one little teeny tiny piece of uh, barbed wire, but that one little teeny tiny piece can kill every zombie that touches it. <laughs> Shotgun shells are pretty damn useful as well. Decisions, decisions. I want the shutter. I could actually kind of care less about duct tape right now. Shotgun shells with like a lever action or a double barrel or a... There's another shotgun in the game that holds a lot more ammo that's really nice. I don't know. Shotgun shells are very useful. That's all I know. Skills. There we go. That'll be good. So I have a little bit in Warrior, a little bit in Marksman. Endurance is up twice and Survival's up twice, so I won't need food and water as often. And I could run a little farther. The more zombies you kill, the more uh, experience points you get to be able to level these up. Um, I don't recommend that you do this. I'm going to jump out of the window. Alright, good. Um, it's always possible that you could break your legs on this game. If you do that, you can no longer run or jump. 
and that would just be bad. All right, we're good. Let's get out of here. At least I know my way home. And the car has lights. Well, alright, lights suck. They mainly light up inside the vehicle more than anything. But whatever. I bet you my crops are ready to uh, harvest and then replant. That'll be nice. Start getting us a good farm going. Unfortunately, I cannot drink straight out of the well that we have, so I need to find a canteen bad in order to keep hydrated while at the farm. But at least there is a well. I'll be building my uh, base around the well and around the gas. The gas station might basically be built into my... Uh, my garage or something or right next to it again like it was I don't know we'll see all right so for starters um, I'm gonna go ditch all my equipment that I have because my inventory is full I'm gonna go pick up that chainsaw and start hacking down trees oh crossbow is actually really nice Hack down trees, then use the uh, pickaxe to chop up some rocks. Wooden shutter. I didn't even mean to rotate it. It opens and closes. There's not much I could really do with those. Uh, you can turn them into garage doors, which is highly useful. Let's check this out. Oh, holy crap, this is a shotgun? I thought this was a maple strike. It said maple strike. It's a Nova. This is the good shotgun. This is the shotgun I was talking about that's really nice. I didn't know I had that because it did say maple strike. All right, well, that's even better. I'm really, really happy about that. You can actually put a silencer on this shotgun. It's kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to go out with a pickaxe. No, I'm going to leave the pickaxe and go out with the... Uh, I'll be picking that up later. Go out with the chainsaw and just hack down some trees real quick. I can't believe I found a chainsaw already. Um, you can just use an axe to do the same thing, FYI. It just takes a little longer is all. So I'm highly grateful for having this. Um, the main thing I'm going to do right now is build some chests. Now unfortunately, if you're not already in my group, which you most likely aren't unless you're my daughter or Metalhead, uh, then the chest that I'm going to build first, you won't be able to get in. If you're in the person's group, before they lay the chest down, then you can get in it. But if you're not in my group already, then you can't get in this chest that I'm about to build. That's just how it works. I can't help it. Alright. And you do get experience for hacking down trees and breaking down rocks and all that, FYI. I just got four experience points. How are we doing on our weight? All right, we're almost up to our max weight limit. Let's go ahead and go over here and just start crafting. Uh, I'm going to do that right here. All right, so how this works. In fact, you know what? I probably have to level up crafting skills. I bet you I do. Craftsman takes 50 points. 
I'm willing to bet that I will have to level up crafting to do this. But whatever, let's try. I want to turn this into uh, all planks. So I hold the prone button and then click craft all. Uh, if you hold prone, it crafts everything. Uh, we have a saw. I'm going to use the saw to uh, cut the rest of these boards into sticks. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. First things first. Let's harvest and replant our seeds. Because uh, I'm going to need food sometime. Right now I'm kind of okay on food. I'm not like starving. Alright, so now I can plant twice as much. And you can't plant it in the brown dirt. You have to be in the green, grassy area. It has to be fertile ground. Alright, I think that's everything. But nice. We're going to have a lot more food. Okay. Man, I can actually see at night. This is crazy. I'm not used to that. I'm used to it being just pitch black at night. Alright. Uh, I need that saw. What's up here among all the items I dropped everywhere? Well, hell, as long as I got it. I'm actually starting to second guess myself. Maybe I didn't pick up the saw. Crafting, turn these wooden plates into wooden frames. Drop all. Drop all. Oh, there's a saw. There's a saw. Good. I was thinking, I'm pretty damn sure I, I got it. Alright. Yeah, but I am pretty damn sure that I'm not going to be able to craft what I'm wanting to craft right now. I think to craft a chest, it really does require... Uh, It requires you to be leveled up a little bit on your crafting, I'm pretty damn sure. Alright, I think I picked up everything. Alright, crafting. You put the wood here, and the saw right here, it turns the wood into sticks. Crafting. Oh, I didn't have to click it again. We want to craft all of these sticks into, uh, they, they call them like supports wooden supports. So I have 20 wooden supports. I'm going to craft those into wooden crosses, which you need tons of wooden crosses to actually make these chests. Alright, yeah, I do have to level up crafting first. Unfortunately. So what I'm going to do is find the pickaxe, which is in my inventory now that I think about it. Um. We can go make a campfire. Uh, we just need to go get some rocks. And over here, there are lots of rocks. Holy crap, this video's gone on a long time. Let's get some rocks, and then that'll probably be it for this episode. It's so hard to to stop when you're playing this game. I just I could play it for hours. It's ridiculous. I should do a live stream on it or something. I bet people would like that. Maybe. I don't know. A lot of people only want to see Dark Souls. 
which gets tiresome to me. I love Dark Souls, but I've played it so much that I can see myself getting burnt out. I'm not there yet, but if that's like all I ever play, then I'll get burnt out. And that's part of the reason why I'm holding off on doing the rest of the walkthrough, the New Game Plus part. I think I've decided, you guys are probably going to hate me, uh, the New Game Plus part of the walkthrough is going to be after all the DLC has released. In the meantime, you're going to get lots of this and Seven Days to Die and maybe Five Days at Freddy's and stuff like that. So in the meantime, I have lots of other stuff to do. I don't want to get burned out on YouTube, guys. That's all. That's all. Two videos a day is so much work. If you're an uploader, then you know what I'm talking about. And I really don't want to get burned out on this. Uh, I love what I'm doing. It doesn't really pay money. <laughs> so I don't want to get burned out on it. I'm going to keep doing what I want to do currently. But don't worry, once that DLC is out, once this next DLC is out, you're going to get some blind let's plays and more walkthrough. And then it'll be a while. It'll be another month until the, the final DLC comes out. And then once I do a blind let's play and a walkthrough of that, I'll be able to start my new game plus. So that's where that's at. I apologize to anyone that's upset. If you're upset, you're probably not watching this anyways, because then that means all you ever watch is my Dark Souls. <laughs> In which case, I'm sorry for those guys. Uh, all right. I'm going to craft a campfire, and then we're going to be done for the night here. Oh, shit. Never mind. I don't have any sticks, do I? It takes four sticks... Alright, stone crafts into... Oh wait, no, 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 stone is the small. Rocks craft into stone. There we go. I'm starting to make a big mess up here. On the next video, I am going to have to uh, drop all. Eh, don't drop all. Let's see, this. Yeah, in the next video, I'm going to have to level up my crafting so I can start actually building stuff. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you guys are enjoying my uh, little Let's Play of Unturned. Uh, this is probably going to be a fairly long series. I, I love this game, so hope you guys are enjoying it. Please comment, like, and sub if you haven't, and I will see you guys on the next video. So thanks for watching. There's some really bad music going on right now. Fuck you! I got streams going. I hear someone running around like upstairs or something. I don't know if you guys can hear the game or not. I know it's set so you can, but if I need to like turn it up, let me know if you guys want to hear it better.